Hi there, my name is Andrew. I'm the uh, tech lead and owner of the SciChart project um, and I just wanted to introduce to you a new feature which has been in SciChart for a while but we've not really publicized and it's this feature. It's called SciChart Group which allows you to make a group of synchronized multi-pane charts um, for use in things like stock chart applications. So this is the SciChart Group in action. We've got a main pane and we've got three sub-panes here. They're all linked, so you can um, you can drag them, you can pan them, uh, you can zoom, you can zoom out, and it's themable, so you can change the theme. And being a side chart based chart, it's very very fast. We've added all of the data for the Euro USD on the daily scale back to 1999 here. Um, and there's absolutely no lag whatsoever uh, when zooming in and um, you can do it with even more bars if you want. Something else that you can do with SciChart Group is you can resize these panes and you can stack them so if you want to save space um, you can stack them all at the bottom um, and then just have one shown or you can pop one out so you can say actually I want that one and that one to be shown. Um, you can also close them, as you can see here, and um, this is all built in an MBVM way, which I'm going to show you in a minute. So that's an overview of the actual feature. Um, now for how it, how it's done in code. So if you're not interested in that part, please uh, please look away now. So in the code, we've got this um, new example, which is going to be included with SciChart 3, called Create Multi-Pane Stock Chart, and this example has got a top level window and a number of view models. So it's an MVVM application. So the Create Multi Pane Stock Charts view it contains a side chart group with a data template and a size stock chart uh, control. So this is a derived control of side chart surface. You can use side chart surface instead, but we've used this because it has um, a lot more functionality built in like it's got a it's got a category date time axis for the x axis it's got a numeric y axis it's got the modifiers built in it's it's really pre-configured for this case so the size stock chart is configured through a bunch of attached properties um, which you can see here and a bunch of other properties and we bind to data via uh, this property here chart series view models so in the main view model, we have got a collection of um, uh, we've got a collection of uh, chart pane view models, and this is one view model for each pane. So this one here is a uh, a pane view model. This is a pane view model, and this thing is the parent one. And uh, we create these. So we create a price pane, a MACD pane, an RSI pane, and a volume pane. And going into these, the these basically create the data series and renderable series um, that you need to create this pane. Um, the data is created here. We just have like a data manager, which is basically dummy data. But you'll need to substitute your own data for historical or live prices. Um, for the MACD and RSI pane, what we've actually done is we've created a bunch of extension methods which let you do um, simple operations like moving average, um, MACD, RSI using um, basically they're like link extension extension methods. Um, these are basically um, as is only. This this is not you know a TA library. This is part of the examples, um, but it's just for demo purposes really to show you what you could do. So once you have created your main view model uh, and you've created your child panes and each child pane has created a number of chart series view models, all of that binds up and you set series source is equal to your chart series view models and away you go. You've got your, uh, your multi-pane stock charts. So that is a new feature or rather an old feature which is um, going to be made a first-class citizen now in um, in SciChart 3. So we'd like to hear your feedback about this. If there's anything we can do to make this even more useful for you, um, this reference implementation and anything we can add to the APIs of both SciChart Group and uh, SciStockChart. Thanks a lot for your time. Bye.